Why? Because you're threatening people. People are threatening my neighbor because of your stupid shit on the phone. Who's your neighbor? Big trouble for tampering with mail belonging to James Holmes. We found him bragging about it online, and we asked the feds about it. They suspect fraud and confirm they're investigating where the suspect's mail may be going now. Reported James Holmes had ammunition and tactical gear sent to his apartment in Aurora. But now someone else, hundreds of miles away, may be getting his mail. That's this man who was just released from federal prison in April after serving 10 years for wire fraud. His name is Jonathan Lee Riches. He's notorious for filing thousands of bogus lawsuits against celebrities. Civil complaint uh, the, in the case of Riches v. Beckham. Uh, a civil complaint entitled Soccer Piracy for a temporary, a temporary restraining order. This is a civil complaint action pursuant to violation of the Langham Act of... Uh, Boy, this guy has bad handwriting. Copyright infringement, uh, race crimes, I think, soccer kickbacks, fraud, identity theft, treason, and piracy. Treason. Uh, comes now the plaintiff, John Lee Riches, uh, moves this, moves to court the defendants. You failed to point out that John Lee Riches is copyrighted. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let me just. Okay, so he's he's trying to. S He's making a civil complaint against, I believe, David Beckham. A mega conspiracy... Sorry. <laughs> Article 1. A mega conspiracy with Beckham and Major League Soccer. Beckham uses soccer balls that... are... <laughs> he uses soccer balls that satellite precision guided. <laughs> British well, agents James Bond and Pakistani intelligence sit in the stands with a remote. He may have filed bogus motions in the Holmes case, too. This week, we noticed Riches posted this Facebook photo of a magazine addressed to Holmes. The yellow mail forwarding sticker shows an address in Pennsylvania where Riches lives. We contacted postal inspectors about it. They checked it out and told 9 wants to know they think the stickers are real. There is now a criminal investigation. Complaint filed. Oh, thank you. This is a complaint filed uh, against David Beckham et al. I'm stoked for the race crime portion of it. Uh, complaint four, Posh Spice is bulimic. In the meantime, Riches has been posting some very odd YouTube videos about James Holmes and appears to be quite obsessed with the suspect. <laughs> Jonathan Lee Riches, and I'm with my friend James Holmes. Look, he's going upside down, but that's not the issue. Look where we're at. Wow, what is this? Oh my God! Look at the menu. James, what do you Hi, want? How can I help you? Is this McDonald's? Yes. Sir, me and my friend, I'm with my friend James here. James, what would you like to eat, James? James is interested in getting a bunch of weapons. You don't sell that, do you? No. What about, what do you want, James? What about mustard gas? Do you serve mustard uh, gas? We do. Okay, well, how about Coors Light? No. All right. Fine. We'll take our business elsewhere. Peace be with you. Article 6. His whole career Beckham fakes injuries. Stole my tape and axles. He touched a police with, uh, has a policy with Chubb Insurance. Posh is in on it to gain weight. Hey. Mr. McNeil, James Holmes is innocent. Cordicella, James Holmes is innocent. Deemer, James Holmes is innocent. Free James Holmes.
Free James Holmes. Free James Holmes. Free James Holmes. Free James Holmes. Hey, I need to watch the post. Excuse me? There's real people's lives at stake here. I haven't worked for three days because people post All right, what am I posting? stuff. What am I posting? I post a picture of my wife and it had your name on it. Okay, it's so not concerned. I'm you're not a here jackass, for you. Dude. Okay, thank you. Because you're what you're doing, I have a nice. I don't want provocation. I don't want provocation. But you're causing it on the internet. That's the Listen, thing. if you don't like it, I don't like it. Then contact Twitter. Like, why are you being a jackass? What you're do you not mean? Doing anything this is what I said on Twitter. This is exactly what I said on Twitter. The following is a statement along with footage from a neighbor of the laundries during the Gabby Petito case. You are on my property, you don't care, woman? Is that what you're about to do? I'm you're telling you, you're- I'm gonna tell you, motherfucker! You're getting arrested, pal. You ain't no fucking sleuth! You can sit here all you want with your megaphone, I don't care! But you come on my fucking property again! I ain't going on your property! I'm gonna fucking beat your ass! I'm going to prison, buddy! Okay! You're going to prison! You're going to prison! Call 911! You're going to prison! Call fucking 911! You're going to prison! This ain't you! You're going to prison! This ain't you on my motherfucking property! Shut up, bitch! Shut up, bitch! No! That's I not you right there! Come I'm not you're into that. You're like making right assumptions, now. dude. I don't oh, want no problems. Person, you have, see you have, later. Your concerns to him. We're not going to have a disturbance here. Yeah. See you later. It's freedom of speech. If he wants to stay here and record, do what he wants to do. He can. Okay. Have a great day, guys. Please. Not, I think these guys attempted to come down to try to intimidate me, or try to because they're mad that I posted something on Twitter. Sandy Hook mass shooting hopes. A little clips of it, and then I, he ran away. I, so tell about that whole thing of. Yeah, so Sandy Hook, basically I went up there, uh, you know, with my own parody and mockery videos and, and, and produced a lot of videos. As far as the memorial, the Sandy Hook, I actually went up to the memorial and I noticed a lot of cameras are all over the place. So I actually was texting and uh, communicating with a lot of my friends saying, hey, look, do you see me live on TV right now because the cameras were rolling. Every media outlet in the world was up there. And uh, some people were saying, uh, actually, they were seeing me believe it or not, and I don't know what footage, I guess it was the local affiliates out of New York City, the ABC and the NBC out of New York City, but then I decided to get on my knees and start praying. At that point, while I was praying on my knees, I could hear the snapshots, like, <laughs> camera snapshot me, so I thought, okay, let me just wing this, so I just pretend I was crying, and I started crying and going hysterical, and the cameras are rolling. I get up from the memorial, and this one media journalist comes up to me and goes, sir, you're very emotional here. What's going on? And then at that point, I just winged it. I'm Jonathan Lanza, uncle of the shooter, Adam video, Lanza. Though. At this point, by identifying myself as Jonathan Lanza, then I started getting flooded like cockroaches. Everybody, all media outlets started swarming me, wanting an interview and asking me my take, and I just winged it. And, you know, I basically said I was with Adam Lanza two weeks prior. We had a barbecue. Everything was fine. It had to be the medication. It had to be the fan app you know, and so on and so on. At that point, um, I started getting worried, a little scared, because I was getting overwhelmed with the media, and I'm not used to media coverage like that. This is what the federal government subjects me to. I came, I was a perfectly clean-cut white boy, and then the federal government destroyed my life, more or less. They put me in prison for a nonviolent crime, served 125 months illegally, was subjected to solitary confinements and force feedings, and now look where I'm living. This is, this is what I'm subjected to. Take a look.
So that's what I'm living in. With. This is my life. I'm aggravated, I'm pissed off, I have a lot of resentments, and I can't accept the fact that this happened to me in my life. <laughs> House music.